the delicate chinar leaves, the unimaginable love of Kashmir, the whiff that permeates the valley, are these known to you? If not, then let me take you there, there where we can whisper the crafts to one another. और है जलवे आम और है देख खिराम हुस्न में हुस्न खिराम और है नामो निशान की अदे खत्म तो ये खुला आपके हर निशान पर आपका नाम और है गाह सिलाए बेखुदी गाह नवाए सरोशी इश्क में हर मकाम पर मेरा प्याम और है of delicate art, painting the beauty of the valley for you, in every hue. on his forehead have nothing to do with the shine in his eyes and the craft in his hands where his silent smile hides many a secret where the heart is free from the imprisonment of life and that is why the craft of paper mashi is ever so young in the heart of kashmir leaving behind its identity and merging with the water. Flower and lead to mirror a whole new self. Paper transforms into the beautiful craft of paper mesh. Much like the henna that grinds and leaves an unforgettable color on the palms of the maid. Into a new mold. getting a whole new life rising like the phoenix from its very ashes in the very hands of the craftsman the artisan who shapes it molds it fills in the color and paints every object with vibrant hues giving vent to the imagination and presenting the world with its beautiful creations. Paper mache, which is called chewed paper in French, came from the land of Bush and settled in the heart of India, Kashmir. Kashmir, making its presence felt in some of its monuments and buildings, in the craftsmanship of the craftsmen, and in its diverse culture. Sufi mystic, 
Mir Sayyid Ali Hamdan brought the skill to Kashmir in the 14th century. That time, artisans used hand paper pulp brought from Iran and Central Asia for making paper mache products. Paper mache, uh, as we all know, it was introduced in Kashmir in the 15th century, in the time of Batsha. It basically came from Iran. Uh, the artisans were got from Iran who introduced this craft here along with carpet weaving. And uh, that's why most of the traditional designs have the uh, Persian names like Gulevilayat, Kursazara, which are all Persian names. Uh, but over the years it has uh, gained a Kashmiri uh, uh, concept also. third generation uh, running this business here, which was started by my grandfather under the name of Asia Crafts. Uh, we are mostly dealing in papier mache. We've always been involved in the manufacture of very, very fine paper mache. During the era, paper mache was also known as Kalamgari and the Kalamkari gained prominence with delicate work on the room ceilings made from wood. Doors, windows, pen holders, lamps, shades, temples, shelves, colorful pictures. During the Mughal period, pictures were made on paper mache. This work appears in the Madin Saab Mosque, built in Kashmir in 1444, on the roof of the Shah Hamadan Mosque, and in Shalimar Bab. In some designs, the intricately painted kingfisher and maple tree leaves appear as distinct to this craft. The journey of paper mache from the hands of the craftsman to the market is a long and tedious one. And while buying these products in the market, as we simply pick up a box or a vase to look at the price tag, we cannot even begin to fathom the hard work and the artisan's immense love in its creation. In the traditional Kashmiri method, the paper is first soaked in water for several days. Then by removing excess water, this pulp is left to dry by mixing it with cloth. After drying, it is grinded in a mixture of rice water and pulp is made out of it. This pulp is molded into wood, a brass mold and left to dry. Once dried, the object is cut out and separated from the molds. And then again joined with the help of glue. After drying again, it is plated with gypsum and gum. Now it is rubbed with a piece of baked stone or clay to smooth it. After smoothing its surface, 
paper strips are placed on it so that no cracks can be seen on the outside. Now this paper mache product is painted with gold and silver foil from inside and applying the base color which is usually metallic. It is now ready for the artist. The magic of design and color is now ready to unfold onto the paper mache product in all its vibrance, beauty and style in the deft hands of the craftsman who are skilled in this very art. For the fine artwork, the craftsmen themselves prepare the brushes for paper mache craft. These brushes are made from the tail hair of cat, goat or donkey. The artisan's imagination now takes flight and in his enthusiasm to complete the product, he crafts such exquisitely enchanting motives that it becomes difficult to believe that even in these times of the mechanized world there could exist such perfection, precision and the neat handwork that no mean machine can achieve. My name is Mohan Mabul Jaane. I live in Lal Bazaar. I learned that paper machine जो भी यहाँ का जो क्राफ्ट यहाँ से आए वो अमीर कदीम और बर्शा है ये फन यहाँ आए जीआई से बहुत फायदा मिलेगा जब बाहर से लोग आते हैं उनको शो के कश्मीर का चीज खरीदेंगे वो उसी मोहब्बत से आ रहे हैं और हमें कश्मीर का कोई चीज चाहिए चाहे शाल चाहे पेपर मैश चाहे बुरकारी चाहे क्रगल चाहे कानी चाह the skilled hands of the artisan, through the confines of his heart, and the dreams in his fallen eyes, emerges the beautiful paper mache, the craft that is unmatched in perfection in any other corner of the world. boxes, decoration pieces, cups, bowls, vases, lampshades, trays, pen holders, bangles, poster sets, wall clocks, photo frames, candles and letter holders. essence of paper mash. Mar gaye wujud mein tan hai niyam man hai teel zarb te ghor hai zarb niyam hasti ye gaah gaah se kaam मस्ते खुदा को लज्जते शर्मे मदाम
Thank you.